book by Dallas Clayton. There are places in the world where people do not dream. I mean, rocket-powered unicorns and candy cane machines, a magic watermelon boats, and musical baboons. Or tiny teeny trumpet players training pet raccoons. Yes, there are places in the world where people dream of dreams so simply unfantastical and practical they seem to lose all possibility of super things, of dancing wild animals and diamond-coated wings. Instead, they dream of furniture, of buying a new hat, of owning matching silverware. Could you imagine that? Instead, they lie awake at night wishing for a car, not one that runs on jelly beans, but one that's regular. They dream of breakfast sandwiches. They dream of telephones. Sometimes they even dream of dreams that aren't even their own. Yes, there are places in the world where dreams are almost dead. So please, my child, do keep in mind before you go to bed. To dream a dream as big as, as big as big could ever dream to be. Then dream a dream ten times as big as that one dream you see. Then once you've got that one dream in mind, please dream a million more, and not a million quiet dreams, a million dreams that roar. A million dreams so loud they scream, so loud they sing and shout, so super huge they say, hey world, guess what I'm dreaming about? I'm dreaming about everything that no one thought to wonder. Dreams so big that they've got dreams and they've got dreams up under. Please dream for those who've given up for those who've never tried, please use your dreams to make new dreams for all the dreams that died. Because you're the one whose dreams can be whatever dreams you want, whose dreams can change the way things are and the way things are not. And if they say that all your dreams are too big to come true, you tell them what I told you. That's what dreams are meant to do. They're meant to make you seem as if you don't know up from down. Because dreams are dreams, and that's why dreams are worth having around. So when you think your dreaming's done, just remember what I said. Close your eyes, my child, and dream that perfect dream inside your head.